We are welcoming everyone back to the latest episode of Asian News with me, Vanessa. Malaysia ex-Prime Minister Najib begins final bid to set aside one MDB conviction. Former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak starts his final attempt to set aside his conviction in a corruption case linked to the multi-billion dollar 1MTV financial scandal. Najib arrives at the Federal Court of Malaysia, surrounded by a large delegation and waved to people gathered at the lobby. The country's highest court has scheduled hearings through August 26 to hear Najib's appeal of his convictions for criminal breach of trust, abuse of power and money laundering over the alleged theft of $4.5 billion from one Malaysia development Berhard, or 1MDB, the state fund he co-founded as Premier in 2009. Najib was voted out in 2018, has been free on bail pending the appeal, which comes ahead of national elections that are expected to be called before a September 2023 deadline. He is barred from contesting elections unless his conviction is overturned or receives a royal pardon. Float in northern Thailand after Myanmar dam damage. Local media reports a dam bridge in Myanmar causes chest high floats in border areas of northern Thailand. Uh, in Myanmar, towards the western hills and about 37 kilometers from my side district, there is an earthen dam with a pipeline running through it for water to pass into Pongtun in Myanmar. This dam has been breached, causing the reserved water above the dam to overflow. Since last night, the water levels in my side have increased. Footage filmed by local broadcaster TPBS shows relief personnel wading through flooded streets to distribute food to stranded people in their homes around my side district in northern Thailand. Food water also inundated parts of border town of Tachi Lake in Myanmar. There were no reports of casualties. Officials says the dam on the Thailand-Myanmar border overflowed due to heavy rain generated by passing tropical storm Mulan. They were seen inspecting the dam and swirling muddy water from viewing platforms. Floods float from Myanmar dam swept away people's belongings and vendors stalled in Thailand village. Live stream video on Facebook shows a flash flood caused by a dam bridge in Myanmar as it swept through a street in northern Thailand, sweeping away people's belongings and even a vendor stall. <laughs> The local media reports heavy rains from tropical depression Mulan caused the flash floods which hit the Maasai district of Chiang Rai province. Torrential rains caused water to spill over an earthen dam in Myanmar's Shan state. The social media user documented the rising flood waters in front of his home. Meanwhile, local media Thai PBS reports the water which has mostly receded inundated more than 2,000 households in Maasai. A Thai official says the dam located 37 kilometers north of the border was breached causing waters of Sai River to rise rapidly, triggering the flood. James Marape returns as Prime Minister in Papua New Guinea after members of Parliament reinstate him. James Marape is swears in as the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea after lawmakers in the new parliament returned him unopposed to the post. Lord Esplas, strong Yuxin. Thank you. Honorable members, I now declare that the member for Taripori, Honorable James Marape, has been elected as Prime Minister-elect of the independent state of Papua New Guinea. Marapi, who first became Prime Minister in 2019, says the coalition is a collective mandate and called for the nation to unite. We are elected to serve them, we represent them, and collectively we are one. One people, one country, one nation. And I just want to appreciate the fact that today the parliament came in total unison. There was no dissenting view and opposing view.
The Electoral Commission says voting in PNG's general election began on July 4 and ended on July 22, but counting was extended until August 8 because of special circumstances, including security issues, attacks on ballot boxes, and logistical challenges. Tropical storm may relax Japan with heavy rain. Tropical storm Ari lashes Japan's mainland of Honshu with heavy rains, with more rain forecast in Shizuoka Prefecture around local time. Japan's weather bureau says Meari is forecast to dump as much as 300 mm of rain on parts of central Honshu, threatening to disrupt the country's born holiday period when many Japanese take trips to visit family. The national broadcaster NHK reports bullet train service has been delayed and airlines including Japan Airlines and ANA Holdings cancelled flights. Myanmar court to hand down verdict on several corruption cases against Suchi. A Myanmar court is said to hand down verdict on several cases against ousted de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Each case carries a 15-year sentence. Nobel laureate Suu Kyi has been charged with at least 20 criminal offenses since she was toppled in a coup last year, including multiple counts of corruption, but Suu Kyi denies all charges. It is not clear of how much Suu Kyi knows of the crisis in her country, which has been in chaos since the coup with the military struggling to consolidate power and facing increasing resistance from militia groups. The Nobel laureate was arrested during the military scoop early last year and has been found guilty of several comparatively minor offenses so far, among a multitude of charges that carry combined prison sentences of almost 190 years. South Korean President pardoned Samsung leader Ji Wai Lee so that he can help national economic crisis in the country. The Justice Ministry says South Korea's President Yoon Suk Yeol grants a pardon for Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman J. Wai Lee so that he could help the country to overcome a national economic crisis. <laughs> With an urgent need to overcome the national economic crisis, we carefully selected economic leaders who led the national growth engine through active technology investment and job creation to be pardoned. By giving them a chance to take part in economic development once again, we would like to maximize our efforts to overcome the economic crisis. The pardon is largely symbolic, with Lee already out on parole after serving eight months in jail for bribery relating to his time leading the world's biggest smartphone and memory chip maker. Meanwhile, analyst says, however, the pardon should mean Lee will be able to carry out business activities more freely and could herald some big moves from Samsung. Lotte Group chairman Shin Dongbin was also pardoned. Flats float washed away dozens of cars in Shanghai. Flash flood traps residents and washed away dozens of cars in northwest China's Xinhai province after torrential rain has continued to hit most parts of the province over the recent days. In Hualong County of Haidong City, a vehicle maintenance workshop located in a low-laying area saw some 30 cars washed away by torrents. Firefighters rushed to the site and evacuated the stranded residents to safety and have helped move out the vehicles stuck in the mud with trailers. Local authorities say, fortunately, no casualties were reported in the flash floods apart from a few damaged cars. And that's the wrap-up. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a nice weekend.